everyone and welcome back to my channel. How are we all doing? I hope you're all very well. Um, so for today's video, I kind of wanted to share some quite exciting news with you guys. Um, it's just about a new little venture that I have embarked upon and I have became an online tutor, teacher, um, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's something that I never thought that I would do. I mean, I think everybody at some point in their life thinks about becoming a teacher um obviously that's not for not i'm not speaking for everybody but i mean it has gone through my mind uh several times throughout my life like do, should i become a teacher um and yeah i never took that step got that qualification um i said i went into journalism as you know and um, during these like crazy times obviously lockdown not going to work i thought how can i make some money um and this just kind of happened it's actually really weird how it happened um i was on twitter one day and came across a blogger for the life of me i cannot remember her name but when i do i will put it in the comments or the description um and she was talking about how she travels the world she's a travel blogger how she travels and does te and teaches english online um while she does that so it helps fund her and help pay for the travel and i just thought to myself wow what what a fantastic opportunity that is and it, i kind of thought would i would i be interested in something like that um and then i never thought anything of it like it was just one of those thoughts when you read something went about my normal business and then i think it was literally like a day later that i was like browsing indeed and a job board just to see what was around in the area you know just out of curiosity um and an ad came on to teach english online and i was like this it's got to be a sign, right? Um, it's just too much of a coincidence not to be. Uh, so I applied um, and within a day was offered an interview, which is the quickest I've ever had a response from a job because you know yourself when you apply for jobs, it takes weeks and weeks to hear back and sometimes you just don't hear back, which is the most frustrating thing. Like if I haven't got the job or you're not offering me an interview, just tell me so I can stop thinking about it. Anyway, was offered an interview um, for the following week. Was sent some like teaching materials because um, you have to, I don't know, do a little demonstration of how you can teach, I guess, which was nerve wracking for me because it was way out of my comfort zone, something I've never done before. And I was like, how am I supposed to pretend to teach when I've never done this before? Then YouTube was my savior because I just kind of Googled the company and the interview and sort of a demo interview came on um, that someone had done in the past and I kind of just used that to like help me with mine I guess. So anyway, had the interview, was very nervous because interviews are just awful. Um, obviously answered some normal questions that you do in an interview, like what makes you suitable for this job, blah blah blah. Um, took about half an hour, obviously had the demo lesson in that which probably wasn't the best to be honest with you um, but I guess they're just looking for potential and then the next day I was told I was offered a job fantastic I was very happy um, the only problem was that I did not have a qualification to teach English as a second language I have a degree which you needed as well but also the TEFL qualification and there's another type of qualification that you can get as well um, so that was something I was kind of like, oh no, like this is gonna hold me back. But the company sent me some links um, to some like programs where you can get the qualification and um, I did a 120 hour um, course, which is what was required. I think you can get like 60 hours, but this one was 120. Um, I believe it was just under 30 pounds, which I've heard is really cheap because a lot of people have said that theirs was like a hundred and something pound. Um, the company that I went with was Premier Tefl, um, and I think the company that I'm working for is like partnered with them, so you get a discount. And did the course? It was just like loads and loads of material, then like quizzes at the end, just just like you just ask questions like a test. Um, that took about a week to to do. Um, obviously I did it in lockdown, so kind of just like powered through it. Um, did it from morning to almost. Well, food that was just the clock in the kitchen 
Um, I did it from majority of the day each day. Yeah, so that took about a week and then all I had to do was go onto the company website, um, upload the qualification, upload my degree, uh, a profile picture, make a video, like an introduction for like the parents who, well the parents or the students because you also teach adults, um, just so they can see kind of who you are, what you're about, if they want you to teach them. Um, do all this stuff then there was like some onboard training do an IT test to make sure that you've got internet um, a, a red polo shirt which is required um, I've got two classes later which is why I'm wearing this you need a headset um, what else do you need or oh, the backdrop see I've got you can't really see the logo but um, it's just printed out paper you've got to have the logo on the backdrop so I've just printed out a couple of pieces of paper um yeah i think that was it for like equipment um but my polo shirt and headset took a while to come because they were from ebay so i couldn't pick my start date for a while so i've only just kind of started this i think i passed the interview in march and i started this in may um so it's quite a while away um and this currently when you're watching this video is my second week doing it so i'm not like an expert at it um i'm not like I haven't been doing this for ages or like six months. I'm just telling you about it now. This is literally my second week. But all I can say is that I'm absolutely loving it at the moment. Don't get me wrong. It's challenging in places. It's daunting because I'm like, I'm not a teacher. These people are trusting me to teach these children and adults from other countries. And um, there's like kids from China, Taiwan, Japan. They're trusting me to teach them English. and. I can't even speak correct English um, majority of the time, so you do really have to think. But luckily you are given the material that they want you to teach. You can go through it um, before your lessons. Um, you're given it like pretty much um, a few hours before your lessons due to start, like 24 hours or something like that. Um, yeah, and it's, it's great, I love it. The kids that I've been teaching because I've only done kids at the moment I think the youngest that I've taught was eight and the oldest has been 15 so far they've been fab also everyone everyone differs in like their motivation their capabilities like a normal school um but yeah it's great the company that I work for is called iTutor group um and I did quite a bit of research when I was like getting on board like watching YouTube videos and um you know, just making sure that it was a reliable company and you're gonna get negative reviews with everything, but so far so good. And I'm sure something will pop up at some point because it always does. Um, but yeah, so far so good. Um, and that's kind of it at the moment. I've got two classes today. Um, and I do get really nervous beforehand because I'm like, my nerves come from what if the internet goes down or something and then I'm, you know, essentially fucked because if you don't teach you don't get paid so i'm quite vigilant in making sure that i'm going through the the source material to like know what they want me to teach and you know just trying to find like the best way to teach because no one wants to just be sat there reading um like it's boring so you've got to be like engaged motivated use different methods which is something that i'm come into terms with because like I said it's just my second week um so yeah it's all still new to me but if anybody has any tips I would greatly appreciate that because sometimes when they're reading I'm like trying to make it fun and I'm like yeah this is like yesterday I one poor kid had to learn about weather stations and I was like I know this is a boring subject I'm really sorry <laughs> like who wants to learn about weather stations like the weather Fair enough, sun, rain, whatever, the stuff you've got to know. But weather stations in particular, um, yeah, boring. But yeah, so that's kind of it. It's exciting and, you know, I'm excited about it. Um, but if you have any questions, then just let me know. Um, if it's something that you think that you would like to do, um, I can refer you um, if you want. Um, so just let me know in the comments if that's something you want to do, if you've got any experience, if you've been with this company, if you are with this company, um, if you're with another company, because um, I know there's a lot of different teaching companies out there. Funnily enough, um, really small world, the couple that we like are renting this cottage from in Aberdeen, um, also we are back to the original cottage as you can see, 
I know we've moved around quite a bit. Um, the couple that we're renting it off, um, the woman, she's just started doing this job as well, teaching English online. Um, I'm not too sure what company she works for, but I just thought that was such a coincidence that we both started doing it um, roughly around the same time. Crazy. Anyway, that's kind of it for today's video. I just wanted to share this little exciting nugget of news with you. Um, yeah, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.